and welcome to Publisher Spotlight at ILA Next. And this time we're going to focus on fun books because we should always bring the fun when we're trying to get kids excited about reading, right? So who doesn't love a good mystery? And I've got two fabulous middle grade mysteries for kids. They're going to love these. How to Get Away with Myrtle, which is the follow-up to Premeditated Myrtle, possibly my favorite title from a book this past year. And then we have Hannah West, which is coming back from Amazon, Amazon to Lions, and this one's from Algonquin Young Readers, and Sluice on the Trail has an Asian American protagonist, so yay, Hannah West. And thank you, Nancy Pearl, for bringing these books back, because they've gone out of print, and we're glad to have them. So, we love mystery. Here's another mystery, Now You See Me, Now You Don't, from Johnny Lambert from Tiger Tales. And can you tell, I don't know if you can see, how cool this is. Is it glinting, yeah? Anyway, this is about a chameleon who loves to prank people. You know what, it's not nearly as much fun to be pranked as it is to prank, which he learns much to his chagrin. I promise that, that board is not in there. And we've got, you've got dragons. So this is a book that we're so glad is coming back from Peachtree, and this is how dragons will show up when you least expect it. And who doesn't love a good dragon story, especially a funny dragon story? So that is, you got dragons, and one of my very favorite read aloud series. It is not perfect. And this is by Anna Kane, Christopher Wyant. It's like, I am not small. You know the books. You are not my friend. And this, it is, it is not perfect. So much in life isn't. But very, very simple language, perfect for kids who are just learning how to read and to feed their confidence and reward them for that effort because it is hilarious. I love those books. So that is, it is not perfect. Are you gonna stay? It's perfect. And next up we have Mr. Invincible, local hero from Magnetic Press. These are so much fun. This won the big prize about graphic novels at Bologna, the International Children's Book Festival. And you're thinking, he is not the usual physique for a superhero, but that's okay. Mr. Invincible has a unique power and he is able to travel between the panels, even to change to rip out pages if he needs to. Yes, that did happen in a book. So much fun, so many starred reviews. Thank you, Mr. Invincible. Thank you, Junior Library Guild, for selecting it. Next up, Skunk and Badger. Now, this is a match made in heaven. Amy Timberlake and pictures by John Clausen. You are, this is not my hat, John Clausen. Where is my hat? So, Skunk and Badger are new roommates, and you know what? Skunks and Badgers probably shouldn't live together. I'm just guessing. If you want to find out more about this, we're going to have an interview with Amy Timberlake, and you can watch it find out more about it. And in case you've forgotten Stink, Stink is still here. Stink is Judy Moody's little brother, and this is the Harry Scary Spider. Illustrated chapter books that always bring the fun. So that is a new Stink, and it's just kind of fun to say, hey, have you got the new Stink? I have the new Stink, the new Stink is right there. And lastly, from Disney, we have another Classmates books, I love this. Don't eat your classmates. We will rock our classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. He just has all the magic. And these books are so much fun and they are such favorites. I mean, who can resist that face? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And also from Ryan Higgins, we have What About Worms? So this is an easy reader. It's part of the Elephant and Piggy series. So again, for emerging readers, this is a great place to go and you gotta bring the fun. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out our Pinterest board for these and other books and also our author interviews to find out more. Thanks so much. Enjoy ILA.